guys, I am super tired today, but let's do what everybody else is doing while they're in quarantine and dye their hair. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is getting this back to more of a blonde colour. It's had pink in it, for, like pinky purple in it for a while. My roots are coming through and all that kind of stuff. I did give it a chop, not like trying my best to make it even cut, but I just wanted it short because I hate having hair like tickling the back of my neck so much. Um, I'm also not going to probably end up styling this at the end because I suck at styling, so yeah. Let's try and ignore the horrible haircut I've given myself, which I don't think really suits my face, and let's dye. Hair dye, not dye dye. Nobody wants to dye dye. Not today. So, what I've got is... Clean down old takeaway tub. Tiny, tiny brush. This 40 volume, that's all I had in the shop and I'm not gonna complain at that. Even though I definitely don't need 40. It'll probably help with the pink to lighten that out a bit more. And then the powder. So, first thing I'm gonna do is the Pray to the gods for help and hope that there are gloves in these other dyes that I bought because otherwise I don't have any. Oh sweet, there are gloves, excellent. But first, before that, I get one of these. Be careful not to inhale it as you open. Generic blue powder. Oh, I'm using the Bee Blonde by Jerome Russell, which I don't know if they have in America, but this is in a lot of stores in the UK. Uh, the instructions on the back say to add a 75 milliliters to this powder, which is this whole bottle, even though I don't really want to use the whole bottle because I don't need it all, but ratios are ratios, so that in there we go and find your tiny brush and do the mixing making sure to fold in all of the powder so there isn't any hanging about the ammonia is strong in this one okay so once it's done it should Look something like this. Nice and smooth as you can get it with no powder left hanging about. So we'll put that to one side without dropping everything on the floor. And get our gloves on. I have always dyed my own hair. Uh, I think maybe once or twice I've had it done by a hairdresser, um, otherwise I mostly just go to a hairdresser to get my hair cut, but I've not done that in quite a long time. In fact, I think the last time I was at a salon, I went to a Supercuts in Milton Keynes, sat down in the chair after waiting uh, for about 45 minutes. And I was told that I, quote, don't need my hair cut and I should just go. 
so <laughs> I've kind of never really gone back to a salon since then um, other than to get like maybe some hair care products but other than that it's like mm, well if that's the attitude of that sort of like branch of hairdressers then I'm never going back to one of those again in my life plus they're bad anyway so why would I um yes let's get on to dyeing so as I said I have always kind of just dyed my own hair I'm gonna start with like underneath because I put so I put um, black underneath and I want to get that developed like as much as I can so I don't want to have to re-bleach my hair so yes let's find these knotty strands and get them done as best as I can whilst looking through behind my phone at a mirror because I totally have the appropriate setup to be doing this by myself. Filming on my phone like the professional beach I am. In fact, I think I am just gonna take this and actually be able to see what I'm doing a bit better. Pull it through as much as I can. I do not mind if I can't get all this the dark out because it'll probably just lighten a bit and then hopefully just look like a darker you know give some dimension maybe who knows we'll see under the back. I'll just get some more and just make sure it's all in there. Please excuse the multiple chins you're about to see in this video. Let me give that a little twist and tuck that there. Okay, next. Um, I guess we'll do this front piece that's hanging here since it's already down. Do, do, do. Apologies if I'm looking off to the side, that's where I put the mirror so I can see what I'm doing a little better. Just hope everything's in frame. Now, I am explicitly avoiding the roots and leaving them to last because my hair has grown out quite a bit since it has been coloured. And I don't want them to look super white. We need a nice even colour.
Okay guys, this is it after I wash it out. It's like a little yellowy on the top and still a little sort of like dark underneath, but that's where like the black was. I don't think it's too bad for what I wanna do with it. So let's go on to the next bit. Okay, so first I want to find my parting which is weird because it's usually like somewhere off to the side I don't usually have like a straight down the middle kind of curves off so here So that's one side, so we'll be doing this side first. In blue. So I've got this here. This is the semi permanent because it was all I could find at the time, and I guess it's a good experiment to find out if I like the sort of pastel blue as well so time to make my mother sad again because <laughs> she's not a big fan of me with colour day but she means well that mm, it looks similar to the um why am i showing the mirror it looks similar to the dye the blonde dye so i just squeezed into the tub Um, this is the last pair of gloves I have, so we're just gonna do it like this. Just gonna do it like this. 
I'll use the old gloves to wipe off these gloves like some sort of brute because I'm not getting up to go get some tissue right now. That'll do. Okay. Time for the pink side. Yes, I'm going to use the same bowl. No, I'm not going to wash it because I'm destructive. And I want to watch the world burn and watch people cringe. Ooh. I'm not very pink. I'm showing the mirror again. I'm so stupid. I think. Do, do, do. Squeeze out the tube. Squeezing out the tube. I'm gonna try anymore. Okay. Let's mix this up. Take this out. I can see this going very badly, but I don't care because it's for fun. And if it turns out bad, then it doesn't matter. I just got another head eye and do it again. Let's get this glove done. Let's just try and mix it in as best as I can. Okay, I think that is the best I can do with what I have been provided. But I may definitely need to go back over the pink. Maybe just get. Well, as expected, the pink didn't really take at all except for like this patch here. The rest is still basically all blonde. And the blue only took to some parts <laughs> of the other side. So, I am going to have to order some more dye. Some proper, not actual pastel dye, because once it washes out, it's going to be pastel anyway. And... <laughs> Yeah, it will be sorted because right now it's just a bit of a floof mess, but I think I will like it when it's done pop and I will do an update video. But until then, here's some blonde with a bit of blue. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. If only there was more of it. Well, guys, I will see you in the next video when I fix this mess. Bye.